My next guest was on track for a career in the NBA when a coal mining accident at the age of 19 left him quadriplegic. The story of how he overcame seemingly impossible obstacles to become a successful attorney is told in his inspiring memoir, Coal Mine to Courtroom. Would you please welcome W. Ron Adams. <laughs> welcome, Ron. Great having you here. Thank you, thank you for having me. July is Disability Pride Month in the country. It's kind of special for you in that uh, it's also the 32nd anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Yes. President Bush, George Bush, H.W. Uh, Bush actually signed that uh, bill. Um, that's a big deal, wasn't it? Yes, before that, uh, so many of the courtrooms weren't accessible. I'd go to hearings and they'd have to bring the judges and everybody downstairs because mm. they couldn't even, there was no access. You know, I don't think most people really understand what uh, maybe a, a game changer that the Disabilities Act was. And yes. for some people, they said, oh, I'm gonna have to spend some money. But it really was the right thing to do yes, because people with disabilities didn't ask for that. You certainly didn't ask no. for yours. No. So when this all first happened, you're 19 years old, you're a kid with big dreams. Did you kind of think, my life's over? Well, I was, uh, the doctors were busy telling me that. Uh, I'm very much about the good Lord and I had scriptures of healing put up all in my rehab room. Doctors thought I was crazy, so they had me psychiatrically evaluated. <laughs> and uh, that was wow. the first time I'd ever heard that I could probably even go to law school if I wanted. So, um, and I still remember the first day that they told me I was a, a week after I'd turned 20. I'd never be any better than I was right then. Couldn't raise my arms to feed myself. Uh, and it's tough being 20 years old and hearing your life's over. Yeah. So that night I went back to my room. I cried all night. And the next morning I woke up and I'm like, if crying will make me heal, I'll cry a river. But since it didn't change anything, because my face and eyes hurt, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not crying anymore. And so I decided right then, every decision that occurs, you take the least worst option every time and you never look back. You know, I think a lot of people get encouragement from your story because they look at their own lives and they're complaining, they're whining, they're saying, oh, woe me, I'm a victim. And then they see what you have had to overcome and they realize, you know, my life's maybe not that bad after all. And well, um, the only reason I wrote this book was I felt like the good Lord wanted me to write it because I really looked at me and it's like, why would anyone care? But I kept as God does, he keeps pushing you along, even though, or dragging you maybe. Hmm. And uh, finally, I sort of gave in to doing it. But, you know, one of the biggest things that happened was about 25 years after I'd been practicing, uh, I went through a financial collapse cause uh, after 9-11. And uh, I remember, tears in my eyes, praying to the Lord, uh, why me, why does this keep happening? And that's after a broken neck, a brain tumor, mm. lots of problems. And it was like, I heard the Holy Spirit say, uh, it's not about me, it's about you. And that's like, I don't understand, everything's about you. Huh. And at that moment, I realized that the way you think affects the way you believe, and that affects the way you expect. And the talking, what comes out of your mouth is the first thing that leads you in the wrong direction. Mm. It is a powerful story, and I hope that people will uh, get the book and, and read, because it's encouraging. Coal Mine to the Courtroom. It's available now. You're gonna find a link with it, along with all things that tell you about Ron Adams. All of that at Huckabee.tv.
And uh, Ron, it is an honor to have you here and to celebrate the accomplishments that you have made in spite of overwhelming odds, and we're grateful for that. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here.